Welcome and thank you for joining this presentation on Auto ATC version 1. The agenda for today is to introduce Auto ATC to those who haven't seen or used it before, explain what it is and how it works and why it might be of interest to you. Auto ATC started life during 2017. I was in the middle of my helicopter training and discovered that talking to real life air traffic controllers is insanely expensive with no real alternatives available in the order of several hundred euros for a few minutes of conversation. What followed was several conversations with others experiencing similar problems. And the conclusion was, given the tools we had on hand, providing a better alternative would be achievable. A radio is nothing more than a button to transmit, a dial to change frequency, and voice recognition and synthesis are long solved problems. Additionally, we have within Zem Solutions our multi agent modeling platform, which I'll come to later. This would address many, if not all, of the unsolved problems. So we came up with a name Auto ATC, inspired by Autodoc in the film Passengers, and began development. The first proof of concept came together quickly over the Christmas holidays of 2017. A basic phone application and a plugin for the X-Plane flight simulator were shared publicly in July 2018. Following very positive feedback, it was decided to take it forward as a project, invest in better design and build a ground school component to provide the materials needed to learn how to use an aircraft radio, both in real life and for auto ATC. We then took this to the Global Investors in Aviation Summit Dubai in early 2019. We received a lot of constructive criticism from our presentation in Dubai, really that it needed an even better design. This brings us to now, after several years further development, over 18,000 downloads of the X-Plane plugin, 10,000 testers of the Android application, we are finally at version 1 of Auto ATC. So let us take a quick look at how to interact with the Android application. With a location and frequency selected, turn the radio on. Touching the microphone icon at the bottom of the application begins voice recognition. Manchester Ground, Yankee Uniform, Hotel Zulu Bravo, radio check. This is converted to text and transmitted along with the current active frequency, hour location and altitude. The multi-agent modeling platform then processes this, decides on a reply, and sends that reply back. In this case, Yankee Zulu, Bravo, Manchester, ground readability five. To talk a little bit about the Zem Solutions multi-agent modeling platform, I think it's important to explain how this enables the more advanced features of Auto ATC. The easiest place to start is to show you what it is actually doing while it is working. What we are seeing here is the result of the multi-agent modeling producing the environment that we communicate in. The Zem Solutions multi-agent modeling platform is a world leading distributed system and set of processes for multi-agent modeling. Within simulation, an agent is something that can make decisions and act on them. This is all about decision modeling. So what do we mean by modeling? You're probably familiar by now with ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a large language model. When you interact with ChatGPT, it is you interacting with a single agent that is using a language model to generate its responses. The point of multi-agent modeling is to create an environment where lots of different agents within a simulation can all interact and make their own decisions. So if we look here, the aircraft on the left has just landed, then waits for the other aircraft that is taxiing before carrying on. If we think about the chain of events that make this happen, the plane that has landed has previously communicated with air traffic control that it is in the process of landing. The plane that is on the ground has communicated with air traffic control and already received taxi instructions. When the aircraft that has landed comes to vacate the runway and asks for taxi instructions, the air traffic controller has to realize this aircraft will conflict with the aircraft already taxiing and make the decision to have that plane wait and not give taxi clearance until the path is clear. This chain of events all happens independently. 
the aircraft make their decisions independently whereas multiple air traffic controllers controlling airports and airspaces all need to collaborate make decisions and share that information with each other and the aircraft this puts the focus of development on what is involved in creating an air traffic control environment the time it takes for requests and replies the way communications interact with traffic such as waiting for a taxiway to clear expediting a departure if a runway is in use and another aircraft announces its intention to land all of these play a pivotal role in creating a realistic air traffic control simulation our multi-agent modeling platform has been utilized in multiple commercial simulation projects predominantly in healthcare where the agents are populations of entire countries the healthcare institutions the people in those institutions also within financial markets for predicting stock market trades and now also aviation we use it to create simulations of complex interactions between large numbers of decision makers, study their emergent behaviour, typically producing evidence used in legal and reimbursement decisions. With the fundamentals explained, I hope it is now clearer what the Auto ATC application does and how it works. More extensive documentation on the components of Auto ATC are linked in the description of this video, along with a link to our Discord channel if you wish to reach out or have any questions. I hope you agree the Auto ATC phone application is a great resource for providing essential radio communications training when combined with the X-Plane, especially in virtual reality, it's also a lot of fun. Thank you for your attention and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!